Well, hey there, everybody. It's uh, Sunday morning. I just woke up. And before I start streaming Shadow the Dragon on twitch.tv slash KCBBrian, I figured I would record a quick summon session um, because we do have some new units. Half of them are pretty interesting, I think. Um, if, you, if you saw my banner review video, which if you didn't, no disrespect, super long, totally get it, um, but I wanted to be in depth. I genuinely think that Lou and Thea are both kind of just, I don't know, you could build a different unit that's pretty much available uh, at 3 star, <laughs> and just put some effort into it and plus 10 it and it would, it would almost, you know, function the same way. And then, you know, there's Sue and Iden, Eden, still don't know how to say her name properly, um, but I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. The uh, the the big kicker is I actually have a pretty good Halloween myrrh that I got back in October, which you know essentially functions the same as uh, as Eden. And Sue is a bow cav, and I love cavalier units, and that is uh, that's probably my my mainstay. If there was one unit who was the most unique, it's probably Sue. Um, Aiden, I think Eden is probably the strongest of the units that we have available. Um, but I got my tickets. No joke, it took me <laughs> it took me a long time to get Eden's last ticket. I uh, I had probably two thousand points in everybody else before Eden even got to like three hundred. Um, it's just how it rolled, man. I don't know. Um, but we're gonna. We're gonna try the, the the noteworthy thing here is we just had the Fates Beast Banner end. Um, nobody got demoted, <laughs> so poor Ryson's just sitting down there in, in four star, just you know hanging out by himself. I really thought they'd demote Caden um, so that Ryson could have a, a beast friend in the green pool, but that is definitely not what happened. Um, so that's that's a bummer for him. But all right, so we're gonna we're gonna essentially summon on green and red. I think that's 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 the plan today. Just green and red. Oh, go to Camilla. Cause why not? <laughs> Cause why not? Uh, man, I'm hoping I'm hoping for some decent four star fodder as well. I don't really know if there's any that I'm uh, necessarily itching for right now, but more more often than not, I, f I find myself. Uh, needing five-star fodder at this point, which is just very unfortunate for me lately. <laughs> the last time I had good summonings were probably back in December. <laughs> it's been a couple months. It's been a rough couple months over here. Uh, ooh, okay. So we get, we get to spend a ticket on a red. Uh, four or better, so that's good. Happy about that. It's a stall. I'm not super happy about that. Real talk though, I genuinely loved stall <laughs> when uh, when I was playing uh, Awakening for the first time. He was my dude. Uh, ooh, okay. So green. the The tricky bit about green is you know there, there's there's Rye, and Rye is pretty easily replaceable by. You know, like a Nino or a Soren. And I just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's tricky business trying to, trying to pull for Sue when you got Lou literally right there. So, scary stuff. I'm always, always scared. Keeps, keeps the blood going. Kane! I've actually been playing a lot of other games lately. Um, I've been doing my daily grinds, make no mistake. Um, but, uh, like, I just, I just 100%ed Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Rye! Speaking of the, the Nino family, um, I just 100%ed, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. As much, as much as I could, I guess. Um, without, you know, going nuts. And then, I did the same for the DLC. Because... <laughs> Because, you know, you can't have one part without the other, you know? That would just be crazy. But now I'm in this weird point where, like, do I do I go for New Game Plus right away? Or do I do I wait? I'm probably going to wait. 
more than likely I'll wait. Um, I'd really like to do some kind of Xenoblade stream or something. Because um, it, it was a franchise I hadn't really been familiar with before. But I, like, I genuinely have a, a deep fondness for it now. And I want to know more about it. I want to get the first one on the Wii, too. Um, but it hasn't been a, hasn't really been a, a purchase priority as of, as of right now. Alright, so we've actually gotten, you know, five summons without using any orbs. So that's pretty cool. The ticket system is, is nice. I will, I will openly admit that. I am a fan of the ticket system. Um, even though I never get anything good from tickets. <laughs> You know, it, it gets it gets the rate up just a little bit so that you feel slightly better about uh, actually going in here with the orbs. Man, I'm, why am I getting so many colorless? There's not even a colorless unit on this banner. What is going on, IS? What is this about? Rudeness. That's what that is. Um, also picked up, I, I don't know if you guys are big uh, Octopath Traveler fans, but... Oof. Oof. We're getting, uh... We're getting a mobile game prequel, I think. Um, and I covered this on CantoCast, too, that uh, Square had trademarked in Europe HD2D. Uh, probably two months back-ish, six weeks, maybe. And uh, that was actually one of the things that they featured in the trailer. So I think it's going to be like a worldwide release. I don't think it's going to be just Japan. Because Japan, like, Japan has so many mobile games, you guys. Oh, hey! I can use all these stones. Probably should save the green one for last, because there's so many red. But, that's okay. Maybe we'll get Sue and Eden. Oh my god, we got Sue. What? What? No. That really happened? Dude, that happened? I'm a wizard. I just made magic happen. I literally made magic happen just now. Alright, let's check out these stats. HP boon, or asset, res flaw. Uh, I think that's okay. I don't, I don't know what the banes and what the banes and boons are, or the supers. I don't know what the supers are, but we got her, and like nothing's touching attack and speed, which is basically, really what you what you don't want. <laughs> At best, you don't want anything flying attack or speed. So, um, I think that I think that pretty much works. I think her res stat is naturally higher, though, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, but at this point, honestly, if I don't get eaten, I'm, I'm pretty okay with it for the most part. <laughs> I think I'd be okay with it for the most part. Um, just because I know she's coming back on the banner, man. And, you know, like I said, as, as much as I would prefer her over Halloween Mer, they can function pretty similarly. Um, but I don't really use armor units that much. It's just, it's just not something that uh, that I do, really. Um, Seth, I just finished Sacred Stones for the first time on stream. And Seth, while he was essentially outdone by my Franz, who ascended to godness, uh, Seth, Seth is probably the, the best promoted early game unit, like, of all time. <laughs> well, I will agree. That was that was mentioned on stream uh, a couple times by a couple different people. I gotta say, I tend to agree with that sentiment for the most part. But we got Sue, man. We we won that 50-50 split between Sue and uh, Sue and Lou. Which is nuts. And a Marth, and a Marth to wind us down. We'll look at that. Well, I think I am uh, pretty much more than content <laughs> with just getting Sue. I really would have liked to get Eden, but um, that's mainly because I think she's an interesting character. And I'd like to play around with that more. But, it's a, it's also nice not having like a junior dragon unit, you know? Like a full-fledged adult dragony unit, kind of. Or at least one that looks like an adult. And not a not a not a not a children's, but um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy. I didn't get a Lou, which no disrespect to Lou, but I got a I got a Nino 
plus 10 Nino I'm working on, so I don't really need Lou right now. <laughs> I'm not at the time in my life where I need a Lou right now. Um, same with the, uh, I just, I don't know. I'd rather plus 10 a Cordelia, to be honest, but, uh, we got a suit who, again, definitely the most unique in the banner. Um, our only Greenbow Cavalier, for sure, in the game. Um, and she is, uh, she's gonna function pretty well. We didn't get any bad flaws, so I'm, uh, I'm pretty, pretty genuinely satisfied about that. But, uh, let me know in the comments how you guys did on your summon sessions. I know, uh, a couple of you have already mentioned on the, uh, the unit review video that I had go live, uh, upon banner release, and, uh, that's great. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> All of your free summons. Uh, I saw one of you had, like, three focus units and, like, 50 orbs or something like that. That's crazy. Um, Yeah. Good luck if you're still summoning. Uh, good luck getting your uh, your tickets if you <laughs> if you haven't gotten them from forging bonds yet. It took me a long time. Uh, the last forging bonds event, I actually got them in in like a couple hours, I think maybe two hours. Uh, it was yeah. This was very different. This took me like two days. So uh, good luck if you're summoning again. If you have summoned and you're done, let me know how you did. Um, but that's it for right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go get the Shadow Dragon stream set up right now if you want to check that out my twitch link will be in the uh the description with all my other links and uh i will catch you next time